All right, I want to show you guys how to uh, do project uh, 7B. It's actually, uh, looks like some sort of puller, but it's really big in size. This is all in inches. Um, you got like 28, 60 degrees, 28, you know, all that good stuff there. So I want to start drawing this thing up for you. And um, the first thing I would do is um, I'll start right in the center of it. And the center radius of this thing is 34 inch diameter. So I'll start at zero comma zero. And the diameter of this thing is 34 inches. So I got that one started. I got another circle in the middle of it that is 12 diameter, 0 comma 0, 12. All right, we got that much of it done. Then, um, and at 34 diameter, it's uh, going to be a center line. And uh, of course, I don't have my template open right now, but if you did, make sure you make, turn that into a center line. Um, so, at this point, I'm going to set some angles. I've got uh, I've got one that comes a line that comes straight over at uh, actually it's coming right off this point right here. Comes over 31, and that would be the length to the beginning of another circle that's a 28 diameter. So come here, do a 28 diameter, and space bar, do another diameter of 12. I'll take the exact same thing, I'm just gonna copy it, and go from there to there. And the reason I did that is so I can come up here, hit the quadrant, go from there to there. If you don't have that turned on, it's in your object snaps, your quadrant, check marked. I got that one. And now you've got an angle of 60 degrees. So um, I come down here to my angular. So I do a 30, 60. And from right there, zero come up. There is 30. There's, there's 30. And there's 60. All right. And again, I want to put me a center in here all the way up to, or actually I want to do center radius. I'll go from the center point to that right there and see what it does, it gives me a center line so that I can actually come up here and grab this and copy, catch that point, come down here and catch that point. And I can do the same exact things, but this time instead of quadrant, I want to go to nearest. I can do tools. Uh, this is one way to get to it, toolbars, AutoCAD, object snap and I bring my object snap bar up and I want to use my quadrant. So line, quadrant, click on that line, hit you another quadrant, hit on this line. And you can also hit line and hit control right click and grab your quadrant like that. Or tangent, I'm sorry. I have to zoom in here a little bit. Catch that one. And come up here, control right click. It does the same thing as using this up here. Hit your tangent. And when I got that one in, I can grab everything that I want. I'm just going to mirror it. Use this point right here from there to there. And now I've gotten all of that. I just got to trim out the things that I do not need. <clears throat> Clean all that up. Okay. We're just cleaning everything up in there. Okay. And now I'm going to go ahead and put uh, these have to be in there too. I forgot about those. Quadrant to quadrant. 
trim that up. And you guys can kind of start to see this thing. It's slowly coming together. Just like that. And we can't forget about these up here at the top too. And put your quadrant lines in from there to there, from there to there, from there to there, to there. To there. And then just trim them out accordingly, whatever you need to trim out of them. So we're getting closer now. And I look at my drawing here and uh, it looks like straight back from this way, from the center line here, straight back, we've got Right here at this little guy right there, center point, gonna be 12 diameter. So make sure I hit my diameter and 12. And this one actually goes 33 back. So I'm gonna delete this for the time being. I'll do copy, click on this one, right click to enter, and catch that point right there. It's asking me for my base point. I catch this, and then I get going the direction I want it to go, and I type in 33, enter. Cut your quadrant tops, trim what you don't need out. Overall, this thing would be a line 28, so I want to offset a half of 28 is 14. All right. I'm not trimming anything out just yet. I want to go 16 back from the midpoint of this and the way I do it is center radius. Do 16. And what I what that does, it gives me a point there. I can put a line up there. And then I can grab that point, come down here. I'll shoot that line right across, right across. It's good. Get rid of this. And you can kind of see it starting to come together. Now I want to put a couple radiuses in this thing. Um, on the back side here, it looks like a radius of four, fillet radius, inner of four. Space bar, looks good. Now we got a radius of 20, fillet R20. I'll catch this one to this one. Space bar to do the command again. All that's in, and now it's just a process of cleaning up the things that you do not want. A lot of stuff in here I do not want. Starting to clean it all up. That's looking good. Make sure that you clean all those little bits and pieces up. That's really what makes a drawing, is just how detailed you are. All right. Then on the inside, we have a radius of seven, fill it, R, enter, seven, enter, and it's gonna catch these points. Space bar to continue. And there it is. Now, again, this is gonna be one to 30, so the scale is, so I do customize, add, one, colon, 30, so this would be one, this one would be 30 over here, and okay on that, and just make sure I change my annotative over here, one to 30, annotative, and use annotative up here in my dimensioning, so modify, uh, text, 
I want it to be 0.125. And this needs to be annotative as well. So that way, whenever I use my dimensioning, that it's actually going to show. If I were to switch this to standard and do that, it's just such a big, uh, you know, it's a pretty good sized part. And so you can't see it. So you've got an annotate of it, just you're letting it scale it for you. And, and that's where you get that. So whenever you come over to put this on your layout space, which I don't have a template up right now, but if I was, you know, and I had my template, I would put my viewport on the on the edges of those borders, and I'd set this 1 to 30, and it'd be perfectly set up. And if I had dimensions in there at 1 to 30, it would show all those up as well. i got to make sure it's on annotated first. Yeah, but a dimension or something, and I come over here, you're going to see it over here as 1 to 30. So hopefully that helps. Use your template on this. I didn't have one, but use that. And also um, use uh, the correct layers on things. But if you need more help with this, just let me know.